Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Alexandria. I'm a certified personal trainer and health nut, I suppose. I have clients that I work with one-on-one. -on -one. I run free Zoom classes and I also release free YouTube videos, free workouts every single week on my channel. Today I'm bringing you my top five healthy habits that I have lived and breathed by for years. These five habits are simple, Always remember, simple does not necessarily mean easy, but they are simple habits that you can incorporate into your life for the long run. I'm all about simplicity. I'm all about sustainability and longevity. And I think finding these things that you can incorporate into your life that work for you are important. These five things though are very general, very basic, things that will definitely help you on your health and fitness journey. Today, I'm sitting here with my coffee, which brings me to tip number one. Water before coffee. Like I said before, simple does not necessarily mean easy. The easy thing to do in the morning is to grab that cup of coffee because especially right now, it's winter, it's cold. You just want that coffee. If you're like me, you're not really a caffeine chaser. You're, you just love the taste of coffee. So the easy thing is to grab that coffee first thing in the morning. The simple health hack that I'm giving you is to drink water before your coffee. Now, I'm not telling you to drink 30 ounces of water before you have your coffee. I'm gonna tell you to start small, start simple, start with one cup of water before you grab that coffee for a few different reasons, all right? When we sleep at night, hopefully you're going six to eight hours of beautiful sleep. I know that doesn't always happen, but sometimes it does, and you're going a long time without water. Your body's dehydrated. You need to give it that boost of water in the morning to rehydrate itself. Second reason I love this tip is because because it's simple and because it's something that you'll do very first thing in the morning, it's an easy win. When you create these habits that give you nice easy wins first thing in the morning, it boosts your confidence a little bit. It gets you ready to make those healthier habits throughout the rest of the day. I feel very, very, very accomplished when I drink that water before my coffee because like I said, the easy route is just to go grab the coffee. The harder route is to chug down some water before you have your coffee. So grab that first one in the morning, grab that cup of water, and set yourself up for success here. Fill a cup of water at night, put it by your bedside, get it ready. If you have one of those tumblers that keeps ice cold throughout the night because you like ice cold water, use that. If you don't mind room temperature, use that. But set yourself up for success. Set that cup of water by your bed at night and drink it first thing in the morning. I like to brush my teeth first. I, I don't like to do anything until my teeth are brushed, but then grab that water, take it down before you grab your coffee. All right, tip number two. Tip number two involves the little dog here that is napping on my bed. This is the reason my pillows look a little wonky. I couldn't make my bed because I'm not gonna move her. So tip number two, morning walks. Just like tip number one, tip number two has multiple benefits. Getting out in the morning, getting that fresh air is good for your lungs, it's good for your mind, it's good for your soul, it's good for your body, but also getting that natural light first thing in the morning, especially in the winter when the sun doesn't rise until like 8 a.m., getting any kind of natural light in the morning, at least 30 minutes of it is good. It kickstarts your circadian rhythm. I just read The Genius Life by Max Lugavere. I highly recommend that book, by the way. In there, he does address circadian rhythm and the types of habits that you can form in order to optimize your circadian rhythms. Getting 30 minutes of sunlight first thing in the morning is one of those things. And maybe it's not sun, maybe it's cloudy, maybe it's overcast, but you're still getting that natural light. The natural light hits your eye, goes through your eye, hits your brain, and it triggers some things to start moving in the morning, some hormones to start being produced, cortisol, testosterone, the types of things that get your body ready for the day. It revs your metabolism up, it tells your body it's time to wake up, it's time to do its functions, we're not in sleep mode anymore. So getting a walk in the morning can help you get that natural light that you need in the morning. We walk, unless it's pouring rain, if it's snowing, if it's cold, if it's zero degrees, if it's 90 degrees because it's summer, we're out walking the dog. She doesn't love it. She'd rather be in bed. She'd rather save her walks for midday, but we grab her, we go out for our morning walk every single morning. It's another one of those things that gives you the feeling of productivity early on in the morning. So just like drinking your water, it's a small win that can set you up for success for the rest of the day. If you follow me on Instagram, you have seen this, but she needs to get under the bed, under the covers. Never mind my freshly made bed for my video. Never mind it. Honestly, just have to make the bed around her. All right, moving on to tip number three, meal planning and grocery shopping. This is something that's very customizable. Whether you're the type of person who can eat the same thing every single day, or you like a little bit of variety, 
There's all sorts of different ways that you can meal prep. I encourage you to play around a little bit, find what works for you. For me, I like to eat the same lunch every single day within a week. So from week to week, I'll switch it up when I want to, but I generally just eat a big salad every day. And the way that I can meal prep that is to chop up the different things I use. Like I'll chop up cucumbers, I'll roast a bunch of chickpeas, I'll de-seed a pomegranate. I do have a video of that on my Instagram. If you're interested in knowing what that looks like, I'll roast some sweet potato, I'll roast some nuts and seeds to put on top. So all these different things that I can prep ahead of time so I can just throw it all together. Each day I can mix it up. If I don't feel like putting pomegranate in one day, I don't put pomegranate in one day. So that's kind of what helps me bring the variety into that type of a thing. For dinners, I I more just plan out what those dinners are going to be. So meal prepping doesn't necessarily mean physically prepping the food. It could be just the planning process of it. So when you plan out your meals, you can grocery shop more effectively and you don't have to think about what's for dinner each night. You have it written down. So I like to use Google keep to keep up my grocery list and my meal planning because you can share it with other people. So Eric and I will add to the grocery list. We'll plan out our meals. We'll just write like a simple Monday through Friday, write what the meal is that day and it just it just takes the thinking out of it you know we'll sit down on the weekends we'll plan the dinners out that we want to do sometimes there's prepping we can do for that whether it's chopping vegetables if we're making spring rolls another video i have on my instagram recently the recipe is also on my website we generally have tacos every week so we pretty much always have onion and pepper cut up in the fridge that way we can just grab it it just helps you to avoid that excess fast food excess eating out excess over snacking because you have a plan and you don't have to think from night to night to night what's going on. So like I said, it doesn't mean you have to be physically prepping the food. Maybe it's just writing out a schedule, planning for your groceries and making sure you have the things on hand to make these meals. Find what works for you and stick to it. Moving on to tip number four, find a healthy treat to incorporate every single day. I have been, I always will be a nighttime snacker. Right after dinner, I immediately want more. I just do. It's how I am, it's who I am. So rather than not have a plan for that after dinner graze through the kitchen that I wanna do, I found a healthy treat that I love that satisfies my sweet tooth and kind of curbs that extra snacking that I like to do after dinner. For me, that snack is frozen mango. It is healthy and because it's frozen, I can't just like shove it all in my mouth really quick. You kinda of have to wait for it to thaw a little bit. I eat it most every day, just a little bowl frozen mango, and occasionally I'll throw a dark chocolate score in there too because you gotta have some dark chocolate. Finding that healthy treat, whether that's maybe something sweet for you, maybe it's something salty for you, but it'll help curb that extra snacking, that extra, you know when you really want something and you don't let yourself have it so you eat everything else around it and then you just end up eating that thing anyway? It's kind of like that. Find that food for you, find that treat for you that's going to curb that. Find your healthy treat and incorporate it regularly. All right, the very last tip, tip number five. If you know me, if you've followed me, if you follow my Instagram, my Facebook, my website, me in general, you'll know all movement matters. Tip number five is to incorporate as much movement into your day as possible. I'm not talking about working out. Yes, you should work out regularly. That's not what we're talking about here. We're talking about the concept of NEAT. NEAT is non-exercise activity thermogenesis, the calories you burn outside of actually working out. So all of that non-exercise activity, so when you're not exercising, you're just moving, whether that's fidgeting, I talk with my hands a lot, that counts, folding laundry, playing with your kids. If 2020 did one thing, it was take movement out of our lives. Trips to the grocery store became online orders, parking and walking into an office became working from home and not leaving. Potentially a small apartment, a small space, you're definitely cutting down on your step. So something that you wanna be constantly thinking of is how I can add more activity, more movement into my days. Maybe that's taking three trips with the groceries from your car to your house as opposed to trying to be Wonder Woman and just doing it all in one. Maybe that's doing household chores, like I said, like folding laundry while you're watching TV instead of just watching TV. So some of the leisurely activities that we hold dear to our hearts like TV don't have to be completely ripped from our lives. You can incorporate movement into these. Maybe it's stretching while watching TV. Anything where you're moving burns more calories than when you're sitting. Find ways to incorporate more movement into your lives. While you're on that work phone call, work conference call, pace around your office, pace around your house, park further away, opt to go into a place as opposed to a drive-through. I know with the situation going on right now in the world, 
sometimes drive through is more preferable or online ordering is more preferable, but find ways to compensate for that, all right? Move more, add more movement into your day. All movement counts, all movement adds up, just move. All right, those are the five healthy habits that I incorporate into my life every single day that make my life better. They make my mind feel better, they make my body feel better, and I've done these things for years. I swear by them, I really, really do. Like I said, these are five very simple things, but they make a huge difference. They add up. You start your day, water before coffee, then you take a nice outdoor walk. You eat healthy because you've already meal prepped and planned out your foods. You avoid over snacking by incorporating nice healthy treats throughout your day, and you move as much as you can, as often as you can throughout every single day. That is how you create a sustainable, healthy lifestyle that you can achieve, you can maintain over the course of the rest of your life. There are so many healthy habits that I do on a regular basis, so if you wanna see another video like this, let me know. Start with these five though. If you start with these five, it's going to lead to better choices and better decisions throughout the rest of your day. I promise you. All right, thank you guys so much for watching this video today. Don't forget I post workouts every single week here on my YouTube channel, so go check some of those out if you want to incorporate some movement into your day today. Thank you guys so much. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.